Okay. Apparently, there's a secret game called Massy Bits. I'm gonna go uncover it. According to the README, Massy Bits is on top of the big blue, biggest blue hill near the beginning of stage three. There's blue hills in this stage, and it's the third one, because game two is actually split into two parts, so... I'm assuming... Okay, Massy Bits is somewhere up here. Yep. I think I'm on its trail. There it is! Massy Bits. What is this even supposed to be? How do I get off this screen? Okay, I can warp myself out of here, but... That's not gonna do it. Isn't it gonna... Oh, oh. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> what do I do on that question mark screen? <laughs> I go up the hill. Okay, this leads to massive bits, but what comes after? Maybe there's an invisible door? Uh, let's try every tile. This is extremely imbecilic. But if it will work, then okay. It will work. Come on, please be an invisible... No, there isn't. How was I supposed to know? Game 3. Massy bits. I have to be small to go in this... Okay, thank God, there's... I was nervous that I'd ha I was worried that I have to reset the game. West of light, you are standing in a closed room. West of a white light from an open door, there is a small message box here. Do you need to tell me all this? I'm not retarded, and there's the message box. Welcome to Messy Bits. Oh, how nice. What is this? Sun, cloud, cloud, tree, grass, oh, blue skies. Oh, so what's this? Bad. Another bad. Okay, so this is water. This is... Okay, I've seen text-based games before, but I've never seen them like this. What the heck? I've seen text before, but I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen, like, a platformer game, but... But... They just put words instead of actual graphics. This is very silly. I mean, very. Vine. 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 Bat. Spikes. Yes, just jump or Orange dusk. Doesn't matter whether it's blue skies or orange dusk or spooky cave, because seriously, it's all white and just words. Words on a white background. It's not like gonna matter whether I'm in orange dusk or blue skies or spooky cave now. This is the way you're going at it. Grass. Pit. Pit. My guess is to not jump in the pit. Mushroom. Grass. Bush. Bush. Pretty flowers. Again, why write the word? You can't even see the thing. Grass. Grew? Grew? What's a grew? I'm gonna look it up! Okay, we've got our dictionary here. Oh boy! Dictionary in front of the computer. Why not just do it over the internet? I don't know. Front hammock. Okay, we're in the ages. We should go back. Grave. We might be on the right track. Grind ground. Gaiden. Gurden. G suit. Krungy. Grub. Grudge. Gruel. There's nothing in between grudge and gruel, so apparently. Gru isn't even a real word. Oh, how wonderful. White house. Door. Okay, that was important to put down there, I admit. Massimo. Oh, thank God I did grab that, because that's nice. Oh, shit, this looks bad. Maybe because this was the graphical style back in time. At least it looks a bit more advanced than the old text game. 
Which apparently grew as a word. So apparently this is a trip through time starting from the earliest days of gaming. So what, before I had anything, it was just an- Oh crap, I got hit! That's not good. Now I climb the ladders to find hopping frogs! More frogs, but they don't look as cute as the one in Gamma V's hacking. Whoa! That's one hell of a plant you got there. Seriously, I don't know what the hell. 
hell you're trying to do with the Metroids? Although it's not entirely Ink's fault, because he didn't invent the Metroid sprite. Unless I'm sure of it. Not to mention it could be annoying at times, because... Not the fact they're taking your coins is what's bad, because... You leave, it leaves you open, leaves you vulnerable for another enemy. And though I spin jumped on a giant bee. Okay, nice. Now we go find ourselves up at a giant building after going through. What a change in scenery. Mega Man for the NES, it looks like. Ball Man graphics. Looks like in Ball Man stage. But I remember I don't remember the music in Ball Man going like this. I remember it going like and so on so on. This sounds like Oh yay, fire flower, that's good. Which is actually in the form of one of those energy capsules as you find in the Mega Man games. I know this one. Elect Man's theme. And it's in a Ball Man stage. How'd you mess up the music? Ah, uh, it's not as bad as a sound effect that dinosaur made when I shoot the fireball. That. Okay, so that's pretty much like kind of graphic to the guys that breathe fire. We'll just climb the ladder. Okay, uh, we're having quite a bit of slowdown, so let's just speed up the game so those go off screen. Some of the Mega Man enemies. Hey, a Mega Man game? Because why not? <sighs> oh, crap, this is long! If I die, I get reset!
Oh, and here's a silly thing I forgot to mention earlier. Oh, you can climb these trees. Turns out you can always climb the trees, I don't know. Turns out that the readme says... Oh, I think I already said that. Yeah, I already did say about how you should use save states at the beginning of each area of the level. You shouldn't make a hack that requires you to use save states. You shouldn't. You should actually put mid points at the end of each of those areas. Or at least make them shorter or split them to more levels or something, because what you had going on there was just ridiculous. And oh my god, I'm taking a bunch of hits. Okay, a vine. Which we climb all the way up to go here. Because why not? Oh yes, another power up. That's good. Oh crap. And we're gonna land here. Yes, we are. Oh my god, you drag it on so much. You should have just split a bunch of these levels into smaller pieces. Honestly, I'm wondering what I should actually rate this thing when I've done it. Because it got extremely annoying and just. Oh my god, I can't even believe how disastrous it got at the end. Like the level are too suckish, just the fact you drag it on and don't put enough midpoints. That's probably the most fatal flaw with this thing. I thought it would be the level design, but no. That one just takes the cake. No, the such and I think we're done this soon. I think. I hope we're oh. Okay, we need to cross the bridge now. Or else we're gonna run out of time. Oh god, where's the key? It better be- Oh my god, the key- Oh, there it is! Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! And now, Massimo's end. The game is over! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, finally, it's about time! Seriously, let's go. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulation? Uh, I believe it's congratulations. But yeah, that's not the easiest word in the English language to get. This game is sad. End. Okay, so it says, congratulations, this game is sad end. Is this pretty much like, like, is what did you get this message idea from Ghosts and Goblins where it says, congratulations, it's a story is happy end? This sounds like Ghosts and Goblins, but the opposite. This story is sad end. What do you mean by sad end? After all Massimo's gone through, do you really think it should be a sad ending? You just had to kill him in the end. Mario! Oh, Mario was so fucking lucky. He's got, like, a hot wife. He's got, like, a nice home in a castle. And he's probably just worrying about the color of his hat or what birthday cake he's gonna get the princess. And Massimo, he lives in a hole. He lives in the most boring world ever. And then you, you kill him in the end. God, it's so depressing. Massimo's a hobo who dies in the end because he... Oh, my God! We're gonna raid it. Oh god, this hush. You dragged everything on way too long! Mario XXX! And Mas- No. Masochist Ignition I think was longer. I just dropped out because I was sick of the amateur bullshit of that hack. Masochist Ignition went on longer. XXX was at least quick! It was painful, but at least it ended quickly. Massimo, this just dragged itself on! And on and on and on! Not to mention, the level design was empty and boring, though it wasn't as ridiculous as what you saw in XXX. So the music was nice. Still wondering, like, where all the music tracks are in this game, because this had a good soundtrack. Some of the sprites were awesome, too. But the level design is what kills it. No, actually, it's a combination of that, how empty and boring it is, and the fact how long it is. That kills it for this hack. I'm not sure where to say that this is better or worse than XXX and Masochistic Mission. Although, you're always free to use safe states. The author actually said that you should use safe states in some of the longer levels. 
You shouldn't use save states. You should just... The easiest fix would probably just be to expand the overworld. Cut the levels in sizes. Uh, just divide the big levels into three or four smaller pieces and make four levels out of those. And you could add more enemies. You could fix cut off. You could mix up the terrain a bit. I mean, like, this is easier to fix and get around. Like, not like, XXX is hard to fix. Just remove the tight spaces. Fix some cutoff. Boom, you're done. I don't know what to say on behalf of this hack. It was actually kind of an enjoyable experience until the levels got long. Like, I was always free to use save states. I just didn't, because... I don't feel like you should have to use safe states. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. Ugh. Well, I know I like this better than Masochistic Mission. And yeah, it didn't have any. It didn't really have any. Actually, had one. Ah, this is actually a bit better than those other two hacks. Forty-two percent. This is better than XXX and Mazakish's admission, but it's still bad! Yeah, the ending there, you really did not need to kill Massimo at the end. You could have given him a happy ending, but no! You fucking kill him! Ugh, after all the shit he's been through, did you really have to- Ugh! Yeah, I'm keeping that 42% there. This was bad. It wasn't as messed up as some of the other hacks I've been through. I can already say. So yeah, after the long battle against empty, boring levels, I can say that Massimo's done! So yeah... And no, I don't think it was as worth it as the author intended to be. I don't think Massive Bits was as glorious as the author made it out to be. Also, I had more fun playing something else, like... Star on Island Adventure was much better than this. So yeah, Massimo's done. I'm glad that's over. After all, this wasn't too bad. I can say you got some things right, but... Really, the level design... The, uh, The lengths of the levels and other issues just... Knocked this hack stick in the dirt. So yeah, goodbye. And don't make me go back to this hack, cause seriously, I think I've done it all.